Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope your days are going good and your lives are going even better than that. We are going to be jumping into Children of Bodom, Children of Decadence. This is this is a Metalhead Reminiscis. So, it's a song that I first heard when I was just getting into metal when I was first discovering Arch Enemy and In Flames and those kinds of bands and I first heard Children of Bodom. This wasn't the first song I heard by them. But this was one of the songs that really hooked me onto them. This is my favourite Children of Bodom song, but the best Children of Bodom solo in the world. At least to me. You guys may have a different opinion, but either way, man, we're going to jump into this.
that was children about him with children of decadence i don't know if you can see it when i'm reacting i don't know but like when certain songs i listen to my imagination just takes hold and i literally i'm literally imagining things as i'm watching the reaction as i'm watching the video or listening to the music or whatever the hell you want to call it and i was just seeing so many images of my past and just of the song itself the song is it's just like a, it's an anthem that's basically the best way i can really describe it so obviously about being children of rebellion about fighting and about fighting and dying and always going against what people say we should do and mm -hmm. everything like that it's a very cool song it's one of it's one of children of burdens better songs i don't like their new album so much i'm not against them i'm just i just love all children of burden from in your face to the very first Lake Bodum, or I think it's Lake 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 Bodum that was first, something like that. Either way, this was amazing. I fucking love the solo. This is one of my favorite solos in the in all of Children of Bodum. Like Bodum have amazing solos across many many songs, and everybody will have a different one. This one is mine. It just sounds so awesome. I love that this song sounds very different to what a lot of Children of Bodum actually does sound like. It just has its own unique sound to it, and it just sounds very, very cool. It's just, like, really unique for, like, the year 2000. This was way ahead of its time. It sounds modern, even by today's standards. And that's something impressive to actually do. Children Bodhi write songs that can literally last a lifetime. Their old stuff sounds modern even today. No matter what song you're listening to. Even the recording quality is actually up there enough for it to sound like it was recorded today. A lot of older bands will feel you'll find that the recording quality is way down and that it's not as well produced as like nowadays stuff is. But this is really, really well done. Like I bet if they recorded it today it would be even more amazing, but like the fact this was this was recorded in the year two thousand is impressive, man. Shit is crazy. Alexi's voice is very hard to understand if you've never listened to much children about him. So, like, I put the lyrics on the screen so you guys can see. He, he always sings slash screams very, very fast. So you have to be able to keep up with his cadence of speech. He's, he, he, he has more of a, not a rap style, but, like, it's a more aggressively fast style of screaming. Which is very, very unique to, to Children of Burden. I think there's other bands that have tried to replicate it, but I don't think many people can keep up to Alexi's voice. His voice is just that good. I know how... He, I know his voice has gone a little bit in recent years and that just happens when you've been doing it for a long long time and I don't know whether he was screaming correctly or maybe he was screaming directly from the throat so he's kind of losing his voice in that sense but either way man Children of Bodom are one of the pioneers one of the godfathers of Melodeath if you think otherwise they're there within flames they're there with all the other bands that were that were about them and they just have their own unique style, and they made Mellow Death into what it is today. Them, In Flames, um, and a bunch of other bands that were there back in the early 90s, uh, back in the late 90s, up to 2000s, and and I'm, I'm pushing forward from there. Either way, man, this song is amazing, it's beautiful, it's got so, it's got so much presence to it. And that's what I love about music. Music is about presence, it's about what you bring to it. And you can tell that the song has so much presence behind it. It just sounds amazing and beautiful. I know Children of Bodom are named after a serial killer. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of their songs are about death and a lot of like darker themes. But that's what I love about death metal or mellow death and all of those genres. Man. Those genres are meant to be about darker subjects. It's not quite black metal themed. It's just more about... I know a lot, a lot, a lot of mellow death is about serial It is about killing and... Things like that, like Northern, for instance, have that very same thing going on about them. Either way, man, I'm just talking for way too long at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, evening, or night. And I will catch you guys in the very, very next video. Until then, have a wonderful day. Take it easy.